Hello, hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, I'm going to do a reading for those of you that have um, triggers in your life. You know, something that you may be aware of, something that you may not be aware of, and maybe are trying to figure out why is it that I feel this way? You know, so we're going to be using um, the Triggers Oracle deck for this. And I will be pulling out three of these, and then I will be pulling out three of these simply because I am looking for guidance for those of you that are here. Um, all right, for anybody that is looking to book a reading, all the information is listed in the description box below. Okay, the only way to book a reading is to text me directly. Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward three messages, three messages for anybody who was brought here by the title of this reading. Please, universal energies. All right, this kind of stayed in my hand. When I feel insecure, I put on a self mask to help hide who I really am. Should never do that. Okay, there is nothing more beautiful than stepping along and walking along on your yellow brick road, being and feeling free to be your authentic self, you know. Um, I need to be in a relationship as I don't know how to be alone. So for some of you, you could be having the need to stay in a relationship even if it's bad, if, even if it's filled with problems and chaos and arguments and betrayals and infidelity and lies and just all the other things that are involved in bad relationships. You know, sometimes let me tell you, until you are in a good relationship, you don't know what a bad relationship is. Okay, sometimes we think that a good relationship is a good one until you're in a really good one. And then you're like, wow, I thought I was being treated good before, you know, but it all depends on your self-worth. What is your, what are the requirements that you put upon yourself? Okay. Um, all right. So here we go. Those include boundaries and just, you know, all the other stuff. All right. So let's see one more. These universal energies, one more. Okay. So I'm going to take that one and we have here when I feel powerless, I will act in manipulative ways. Haven't we all been manipulative? Listen, I've been manipulative many times in my life. It is for some people what happens. It is how you learn certain lessons. I am not preaching here saying that I have been good. Because you know what? I still have my skeletons in the closet and I still, you know, am human, you know, just because I read cards and I read my own intuition and let you know, I am still human. You know, I am here learning lessons, struggling through the numerology these days. You know, I'm going to talk about that a little bit um, because I am going to try to bring you something else, you know. Um, but we're going to talk about that in another video. I don't want to get off track here. Um, but um, for some of you, you know, you have, you feel like if you are not feeling manipulative, that you don't have the power. You know, sometimes, listen, you don't need the fucking power, okay? Sometimes you really don't. You know, the power is in, inside you. It is your strength. It is your wisdom. It is your authenticity, you know? It's not being manipulative, you know? That's not part of life. That's not part of living. All right, let me see. Please, universal energies. Let me get three messages for anybody who was brought here by the title. Wow, I got three. All right. We're going to take these. <clears throat> All right, so the first one that we have here, which I picked up was angelic assistance, divine guidance and loving support. Listen, I always say this, you hear this in my channel constantly, okay? Love yourself first. Be in a beautiful place. Support yourself, okay? Lovingly, okay? Love yourself lovingly, okay? Um, sensuality, feminine wisdom and passion. 
So some of you could be, um, you know, with this, uh, you know, sensuality, feminine wisdom, you know, it is listening to what your body is telling you. This could also be a male energy, you know, it doesn't really need to be, you know, but for some of you, listen, um, if you need to find passion within yourself, find it. It's created deep inside you is whatever you make out of it. You know, I don't really look at this as a sexual, um, you know, situation because it, it is sensuality. But, you know, some of you, you know, may be feeling some kind of sensual way. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm not really reading it that way. Um, circle of eternal joy. Timelessness and the dance of life. I'm hearing be grateful for where you are, who you are. Okay, appreciate the person that lives and dances inside you. Sometimes I feel like we have this inner child that we refuse to take care of. Listen, I listen to my inner child every day. My inner child is a child, for real, for real. Okay, so I don't know. I'm hearing find your divine power, okay, for whatever that means for some of you. All right, let's see. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, three messages for anybody who was brought here by the title of this reading. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, please bring forward three messages. Okay, this is way too many. I got like seven or eight. Okay, three. <laughs> I'm specifically asking for three, please universal energies, three messages for anybody that was brought here by the title. All right, beautiful. You started out really nice. Some of you are stepping away from a situation. And I'm gonna tell you, it's a fucking karmic situation. You have here the six of swords and the devil energy in the past. I don't do reversals for those of you that see me turn the cards over. Okay, so with the Six of Swords, this is moving away to peaceful water. This is, um, you know, moving away from a place that really doesn't have your best interests at heart. Moving from a place that has been filled with problems and chaos and a whole bunch of, excuse me, a whole bunch of other things, you know, it's filled with problems and drama and a lot of bad situations. And some of you are saying, you know what? I can no longer do this. <clears throat> I am kind of moving on on my journey. I am moving on because I know that I deserve to be in a better place. You know, some of you are just fearful, okay, that you are not going to do okay without this person. I kid you not. Sometimes, listen, our best rewards are given to us when we are alone. You know, because that's when you most work on yourself. When you are with somebody, okay, you are working on certain things together. But at the same time, if you are working on a relationship with somebody who is not worthy of you, some of you are just going to kind of, um, you know, plant bad seeds. So I feel that for some of you, you are moving away from whatever seeds you have planted in the past. The devil energy is coming up in your past. Okay. For those of you that are resonating with this, this was a karmic situation, a karmic um, relationship, a karmic lesson. This was stuck in a dark down place. You know, I, I say that this is the devil energy is like living in the dungeon with the devil. It's dancing with the devil. It's making love to the devil. It's, you know, it's a whole bunch of other shit. Okay. It's loving the fucking devil energy, you know, let giving them way into your fucking soul. And listen, this is how we get poisoned as human beings, you know, simple as that. Um, there is some work here needed from you with the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you are working diligently is what I'm hearing. Um, working very hard to receive all of your rewards. For some of you, you've been working on this for eight years, okay? 
Um, and some, for some of you, listen, you have put in the fucking work and you are expecting your fucking rewards. You know, you have done the right things for some of you. You know, if some of you stepped away from a relationship that no longer was for you because this person has been wearing a self mask, you know, wearing a, a false mask, you know, you are seeing the truth of that, you know. Um, why is the Six of Swords here? Please, Universal Energy, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Six of Swords. Why is it here? Six of Swords. Knight of Cups. Listen, this person. All right. Let me tell you something. This person is coming up as the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Listen, this person has taken forever to give you what you deserve. Listen, they're coming in as immature. Um, and I feel that for that reason, you're kind of moving away because you're like, you know what? I can't put up with this long waiting anymore. You know, this person with the five of pentacles, this person has not treated you good. This person has left you out in the cold many times. Okay. And some of you need to know this, you know? Um, you need to know this. Why is the five of pentacles here? Five of pentacles, please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Why is the five of pentacles here? Six of swords. Okay, so listen, you get the six of swords in this reading not once but twice so definitely for some of you moving away from this fucking energy moving away from this bullshit you know it's moving away from the fuckery moving away from whatever has made you feel bad moving away from whatever manipulations this person has done to you you to them you know, um, like I said, we all have the tendency to manipulate certain things in our favor, you know. Um, and for some of you, if you're not doing it, you're kind of feeling like, what? where's my power? Listen, you still got fucking power, you know. Why is the six of swords here twice? Six of swords. Why is it here twice? Please, universal energy, spirit guides, ancestors, six of swords. Six of Swords, why is it here twice? For anybody who was brought here by the title of this reading. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna take them. Ten of Swords, brutal fucking ending. You know, this person backstabbed you, betrayed you, okay? They did a whole bunch of shit to you that you know that you didn't deserve. You know, they kind of left you in the woods bleeding to death and they were like, you know what? They just kind of walked away. You know, you also have the moon here, which is hidden energy. So some of you are, are moving away because you know that there was something here hidden. You just couldn't get to the bottom of the truth. You know, and the Wheel of Fortune is here to save your ass, okay? They are here to save you. The Wheel of Fortune is, Fortune is coming in and it's going to move you out of where you have been to where you're supposed to be. All right, let's see why the devil energy was here. Why were you so addicted to this person? Listen, sometimes these are karmic lessons, okay? This is it. Ten of wands. Some of you carried this burden forever. You know, some of you, I'm going to tell you, some of you, like I say in other readings, some of you carried this relationship. It was fucking karmic. You kept putting in work and putting in work. And this person was like a succubus. They sucked the life out of you, okay? With the page, if, let me tell you something. With this here, with the page, with the page here. And the seven of pentacles, you know that there was no more growth in this, but you know what? You still kind of wanted to stay there, but then you realize, you know what? Some of you, you could have learned your lessons. You could have been like, you know what? This is what I have to do. I need to get away from this. And some of you are actually beginning to grow is what I'm hearing. Um, why is the eight of pentacles here? The hierophant and the six of wands. Beautiful. Listen, it is time to rise up. It is time for some of you, listen, if you haven't had a spiritual awakening for some of you, 
it's coming. For others of you, I'm gonna tell you right now that when you get rid of everything that you need to get rid of and you clean up your act, okay, or your road or your journey, whatever the case is, this is what's coming in. For some of you, I see marriage coming in for some of you. You know, with the Six of Wands, this is rising up like the Phoenix that you are. And with the Hierophant here, for some of you, this could be marriage or it could be some type of spiritual awakening. You know, but for some of you, I feel like you're going to be wiser, you know? And this has got to do with something about wisdom. This is why this is here. For some of you, this is this has got to do with wisdom, like learning something that you didn't know before. You know, listen, sometimes we work for people, you know, we work in relationships and we know fucking full well that the relationship is a shitty fucking relationship and we continue to feed it all our energy until one day you say, what the fuck have I been doing for the last five years, three years, eight years, you know, whatever, pick your your number, you know, but some of you are going to get out of this anyway, because you have here literally um, six of swords, six of wands, and six of swords one more time. So some of you are moving away from this, you know, you're like, you know what, fuck this, I'm starting a new journey. And some of you, you know, this is going to come through a hard lesson. Lessons are not hard, you know, and this is going to be, I feel for some of you, a lesson of of being abandoned you know a lesson of being abandoned that's what i'm picking up all right thank you so much for being here and take care